Hi, good evening. My name is Stephanie Viesca. I am doing my presentation on Ford Motor Company for Accounting 370. So I'm going to go ahead and dive on in. I'm going to start with a quick introduction of Ford Motor Company. Ford Motor Company, as you know, is a family-owned business. They engineer top-of-the-line vehicles that are built strong, beautiful, and built for every need, for family to single people to the average working American. Many of the major competitors to Ford Motor Company are going to include Dodge, Fiat, General Motors, Chevrolet, Nissan, and those are just going to name a few. The difference between the competitors and Ford Motor Company is the products and services. Products that Ford put out are meant to grow with what our economy wants and what the average American wants. As of now, you can see we have options of gas vehicles to hybrid vehicles to even electric vehicles. And the electric vehicle does not come out with every company. You can see that they are tailoring everything to the market and to what the American people could want. And right now, a lot of the American people definitely want to save some money as best they can. So some of the products that Ford has built out is the new Ford Bronco that you can see. It's an old time vehicle that was brought and revived and people were falling in love with it. And then you can see vehicles such as the Ford Expedition that has been out for some time but offers a very comfortable and very luxury option for families. So Ford Motor Company's income, their primary source of income is sourced through automotive sales. And I'm sure you can see driving down the highway, all of the vehicles that they have on the lot that they are selling every single day. Most of Ford's comprehensive income is gonna come through people utilizing the Ford credit service to finance those vehicles that you see out there. Due to a high volume of income, Ford receivables from sales, their quality of income is definitely very dependable and high, meaning we have a very good liquidity ratio. And in the year 2022 even, you can see that Ford Motor Company did report a revenue of $44 billion in the fourth quarter. So that was only one quarter, and it was actually a percentage down of 17% from last year. So while we are still performing very well, our revenue is declining slowly due to external events such as COVID, such as the current inflation rates, but we are still performing at a great revenue stream that is making the company profitable. So cash flows for investing activities in Ford Motor Company. While we are deemed very successful most in most categories, we do struggle in the investing category. Through the last three years up to 2019, Ford Motor Company produced negatively in investing income with an average of 9.8 million. And if you take a deeper dive, you can see that throughout the year since 2018, it's been at a deficit of negative 10%, but it has increased since then. At 2022, it was only a deficit of 2.75%. So Ford Motor Company's cash flows and finance, financing activities in 2019, 18, and 2021, Ford Motor Company produced a deficit of 8.1 million. So as you can see, we do make most of our income through our operating expenses and operating activities. Uh, that is where the biggest source of our chunk comes is from the sales of those automobiles in all of the lots that you see and through Ford Credit. Cash flows for our operating activity do show an upwards trend. And we did make in the last year of 2022, we did make a profit of 13.307 billion. So you can see we are profited, profit and profiting a lot through our operating expenses. Now we're gonna jump into Ford's liquidity ratio and Ford's current ratio shows a profitable result of 1.5 in 2017, and it continues to grow. Generally speaking, a high ratio indicates a high level of liquidity, meaning that the company can easily meet its short-term debts. General Motors, who is a big competitor of Ford, has a liquidity ratio of 0.89. That kind of suggests that Ford is a little bit more financially stable than General Motors. 
And so to break it down even further, the 8.89% does suggest that General Motors can only pay 89% of its current liabilities, while Ford Motors does surpass that. Additionally, a high liquidity ratio could also mean that there's just a lot of inventory. So there's a very thin line you wanna walk in between having a high liquidity ratio and having high inventory. A leverage ratio, leverage ratio is any kind of financial ratio that indicates the level of old debt incurred by a business entity against its other accounts. The average interest coverage ratio of 8.2 and 14.31 indicate that Ford and GM EBITs are 8.2 and 14.31 times the interest obligations. So the higher the figure, the less the company has of failing to meet its debts. Ford is a very profitable company. Profitability, profitability indicates the average amount of revenue a company was able to bring in for a certain period of time, less what their liabilities are. So Ford did outperform most of their competitors, averaging a 20.8%. And just to put it in perspective, General Motors, which was the second highest profitable company, earned 17.7%. So Ford Motors Strengths is big on their brand. You see the Ford logo and you know the dependable and the luxury and the high performing cars that you are going to get. You know, anywhere from sedans to SUVs to trucks to high performing luxury outdoor vehicles. Now Ford Motor, Ford Motor Company also has the benefit of not only producing here in the United States, but in other countries such as the United Kingdom and China. So they do have the advantage of making income in other countries. Research and development opportunities for providing clear pictures and for future growth income is a very big strength of Ford Motor Company. They're able to forecast what their future growth is gonna look like. Now, when we go into their weaknesses, we can see that there is a declining market share. Their competitive markets and products do align with Ford's products and some of them for even less. So there is a lot of competition in the specific industry and they do have a lot of recalls on their vehicles more so than the average uh, company does. So that, that is something that you'd definitely want to have some room for improvement for. Now, future prospects. Ford is going to continue to provide dependable vehicles and the customers are gonna to continue to buy them because as the years goes on, they're only going to continue providing more. And with the 8 billion people in the world, there are going to be sales. Ford is going to need to stay competitive in its market and provide top of the line automobiles as it has to ensure outperformance of its comps. They are going to continue making comparable vehicles. So Ford will need to just remain competitive remain intuitive and continue to design vehicles that are going to outperform their comps, whether it's in marketability and its cost and its performance. Now, when it comes to Ford, you do know that it is a family company. So their biblical worldview does show that they are there for the average American. Not to say that only Families will go to church on Sundays, but they're appealing to a crowd that is there to learn and to grow and to, you know, mold their family. So they have always created the picture of, you know, being forthcoming with their customers and their employees and having this outlook of we treat everybody right. And that is exactly what you would want in a Christian household is you want to be sure you treat everybody the way they do and should be treated. So Ford does have a big name brand with heavy pockets, but they also still provide models and prices that are comparable so that people, everyday Americans, or even less than can still afford to purchase their vehicles because they do know that it is not about just profits. It is, it is about maintaining and ensuring that your customers are happy with their products and are able to afford them even. So with that being said, all around Ford is a great company. Ford does have a lot of profitability and does make money and does continue to bring out new vehicles that make it comparable with what they're performing against. 
but they are still also looking out for the people who need some a foot in the door for their first vehicle that need a little bit of help uh, maybe building credit maybe buying their first car so these are all things that very much appeal me to Ford Motor Company. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.